Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about critical discourse analysis, which is an important study field in applied linguistics. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief introduction of this topic and then lead you to consider several present social issues which is related to CDA. In order to figure out the meaning of critical discourse analysis, we have to be clear about what is discourse first. So there is a question for you. What will come to your mind when you hear the word school? I guess some of you may imagine a classroom where there will be a blackboard uh, and some chairs and tables. Or well, some of you may think about the picture of students sitting in the classroom listening to their teacher carefully. So, this is how discourse works. It makes us construct concepts and even ideologies in particular contexts by language. On the other hand, according to Hull, language doesn't simply represent reality, it also constructs reality. For example, Li Yang, who is a very successful businessman, has sold his English courses to the public by giving speeches and stimulating their purchasing desire. He constructed an unrealistic aim for the public to learn English, which was it was their responsibility to spread Chinese culture to the world. And then he also told them that they have to learn English well before achieving the final goal. Therefore, he persuades others to do something in his favor by constructing unrealistic goals with language. So, according to the explanation given by Venn, the aim of critical discourse analysis is to primarily study the way social power abuse and inequality are enacted, reproduced, legitimated, and resisted by text and talk in the social and political context. There are many social issues caused by hegemonic discourses, where people with more power will use their language to rule the other's mind and achieve their personal goals. In the English teaching market, English-speaking countries claim the dominant place. Therefore, native-like English becomes the mainstream in EFL and ESL classroom all over the world. Some of advertisements created by English institutions in China show their worship to the authentic English accent and encourage learners to speak exactly the same as native speakers. This can be an English hegemony caused by discourse, which violates the principle of the varieties of English. What's more, those advertisements also consider native English speaker teachers are better than those non-native speakers. Some of them put European-looking teachers on their advertisements to attract customers and promote their brands by saying they have native speaker teachers. Without any critical analysis ability, those people are easily to believe what the A's have told them. And that is also one of the reasons why native-like English dominate the English teaching market. So, there is an implication to English classrooms. It is necessary to add CDA knowledge in school pedagogy because students will be able to resist the hegemonic discourses after knowing how discourses are constructed and how to analyze them critically. Thanks for your listening.